Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, second week of November reading starting from the 8th through the 14th of November 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. So let's see what's coming up for Libra people for this week time starting tomorrow. So let's see what's coming up. Um, be mindful that it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So yeah, let's begin. Follow me on Instagram if you have not already done that because I do upload daily readings there. Okay. So let's see. What's coming up for Libras? Four of Swords, Two of Swords. Underneath the deck, you do have Queen of Wands. Underneath that, the Lovers. Underneath that, Strength. Underneath that, Nine of Pentacles. Underneath that, the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's having a hard time deciding. I feel that you know the decision is definitely going to be about about something um I feel like you are either tied to a situation uh that you feel very um You're tied to a situation to a person where you feel very um, difficult to walk away from that person, that situation. It's like you, when I say tied to a situation, it's more like, you know, you feel connected to that. You feel tied to it. You feel like, you know, it's very, it's very, you know, um, impossible for you to walk away from that person, walk away from that situation. Even though you try, even though you think a lot uh, how you can get yourself free from that, how you can walk away from it. But it's pretty much there. It's pretty much, you know, um, it has pretty much kind of, you know, have a hold on you. Um, no matter what you do, no matter how much you try, no matter how much strength that you try to gather, you are still going to be there. You are still going to be, you know, dealing with it. You are still going to be unable to make that decision that you have to make. Um, I feel like you, uh, I feel like deep down, you know what is best for you. Deep down, you know what you can do and how you can get free from it. But it's it's more like, you know, um, your inner connection to that thing, that situation. I pretty much feel that, that, that this energy applies to your love life. I don't think it's, it's something else. And I feel like, you know, this can be a relationship which you believe is toxic, but you still feel that it's, next to impo uh, impossible for you to l let go of this person it's next to impossible for you to leave this person it's next to impossible to divorce this person or take a divorce from this person because there is this soul connection that you feel with this person um it's um it does get toxic because i feel like you know there is the push and pull between the two of you and You feel like, you know, getting free from it could be a dream come true. But what next then? It's like, um, it's, it's like you cannot see what is after that. If Even if you get yourself free from it, you don't know what will come next for you. And that, you know, that uncertainty, that uh not knowing of what will happen next is again something which brings you back into the situation where you're still unable to make that decision 
if and only if you knew that you know this is going to happen if you take that decision you would have taken that decision the unknowing uh, the unknowingness of that situation the uncertainty what will happen if i take that situation uh, if i take that de uh, that decision what will come next that uncertainty uncertainty is basically keeping you stuck in that situation even though you know that you know um you have to take the decision you should take the decision but you are keeping yourself stuck in that you want a surety coming from a third person maybe you know if, if you are trying to leave a partner you you really want a surety of your family that they will be supportive of you or your decision if you are you know making that decision to go for a relationship with a particular person even then too you really want that your partner will also you know stand by you in terms of uh, you know in terms of what you might need to face if you leave your family for this person so it can be you know different for different uh, people out there because it's a general reading but i feel like you know that that you know unknowingness of uh, or what will come next is going to keep you stuck in the situation for at least this week i don't think that you are going to um be able to make that decision um but i feel like pretty much like you know it's um you have closed yourself to the actual answer you are not willing to see what the actual answer is it's like you already know what you need to do but you are not doing that whether it is good for you to stay there whether it is good for you to leave that whether it is good for you to have another person whether it is good for you to stay with that person whatever it is you already know but um you you really have kind of uh yeah you are definitely holding on to something you are holding on to something you are overthinking about something but you are not taking any decision you are just um maybe you're scared like like i said scared of the unknown yeah it's it's like keeping yourself in a situation uh, where you are building up more stress for yourself it's not going to get you anything whatever you are doing with with this situation it's not getting you any thing good it's just going to keep you stuck it's just going to keep you more stressed it's just going to keep you more um unhappy because you are not happy being in this you know hanging situation where you don't know whether should i do this whether should i do that you really should look for some uh, solution some um, answer but you are not doing that i don't see you doing that in in um, in near future if it applies to your love life maybe you are stuck between two people you are torn between two different you know options it can be that for some of you as well with the lovers card um maybe you are dealing with a person who might have had other options and you know that this person had other options but you still want things to work out with this person and this person has uh you know very um that person might be sexually very active as well maybe you know you are unable to make your decision because of that as well but again there is this pull that you feel for this person and you don't know even though you know staying away from this person could be good for you but you are not able to take that decision for yourself maybe um I'm really picking up different energies here, different scenarios uh, here, but I I don't know, like you know, um but I feel like whatever situation that you are in right now, it's not good for you. You should leave this behind, but obviously it will be different for different people, but the the you know, you should have the courage to you know, take the leap of faith and walk into the unknown because that will you really need to put an end to this whatever it is that you, that has been gone so just walk to the you know into the unknown to see what you want to see what you can have and leave behind this toxic situation where you are tired like you feeling tired you are feeling um stuck and it's it's like you know just just get away from the situation Let's see one more card from the affirmators. Let's see what it has to say for you in this particular situation. You can always get a personal reading if you're stuck in a situation like that because um, it's a general reading. I cannot take clarifiers for every situation that I talked about, but I feel like um, you should definitely get a personal reading for that. Be that from me, from any other reader, uh, whatever kind of you know feasible for you, but yeah it's but i'm for majority of you i'm picking up like you know walking into the unknown will be the best solution for you right now 
strength again having the strength to take the you know just have the courage to take that step um let me read it to you you are hereby declared a strong resilient warrior of heroic proportions enjoy your battles wherever they are because you are guaranteed to come through them stronger brighter and more compassionate and based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and six pack. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, just walk away from it. That's that's that pretty much you know sums up the whole thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this um week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you, people take care. Bye bye.